when I was little, I used to dream that my toy school would come alive and play with me. I even ran into my room to see if they were moving or doing party without me. <laughs> this could sound creepy for some of you because I think most of the um, uh, movies, they show the toys evil. But for me, um, since I was the youngest one in my house, and uh, everybody was very busy to play with me. Um, my friend, my best friends were my toys. Thanks to the animated studios of Pixar, Pixar this dream became alive. In 1995, Pixar revealed Toy Story, their first, first animated movie, and one of the more successful movies also. According to Pixar, the movie made $192 million in the United States and 362 million around the world. This movie is about the adventures of Andy's toys. I'm pretty sure that you know the, the movie. But it showed me how to be friends with others, even though I was the new in school or the new in town. Um, this movie marked my childhood, and I'm pretty sure it left a big mark on yours too. Maybe not with this movie, but with many more that Pixar have made. For that reason, I want to uh, I want to review today to you the popular company of Pixar from its beginning till now. I will focus on their roots before Pixar, their beginning as uh, Pixar, and their biggest success in film. Um, every company started from small to big. To be, and Pixar was not the exception. Was not the exception. Pixar did not start as the big company it is now. It actually started in 1979, being a part of the Lucasfilm division, named the Graphic Group. It mainly concentrated in technolo technology for computer graphics and animations. According to Rebecca Patron. From WatchMojo TV, a uh, WatchMojo.com. Sorry, the 3D Genesis effect scene in 1992, Star Trek Two: The Wrath of Khan, was produced by this group. Their first show uh, film created by the graphic group was the Adventures of Andre and Wally B. In 19 1994, as it says in the website, website of Pixar. This division was started by Ed Camus, who was hired by George Lucas in 1993, and George Lasseter joined the group later on. After they worked with Lucas, another company got interested in this group. In 1996, Steve Jobs, owner of the company Apple, uh, bought the graphic group from Lucasfilm for $10,000 million and founded Pic what is now Pixar. Pixar, uh, the new company was uh, renamed Pixar after the Pixar image computer invented in Apple. Um, and according to the website fund fundinguniverse.com, uh, Jobs once told the Fortune magazine, if I knew in 1996 how much it, will, it was going to cost to keep Pixar going, I thought if I would buy the company. Because since they made this computer, it didn't have too much uh, success, and it was hard to maintain the, <coughs> the studios. So after that, the... Um, the creators of Pixar came up with the ideas to make short sure films. The beginning of Pixar was a launch for computer animation. After Pixar worked with 3D animation and other technologies in Lucasfilm, the now named Pixar company started working more on independent short animation films. At first, they sold their technology for medical purposes for, to the army. After selling this work to the army, Pixar started making 
more commercials and collaborate, collaborating with one of their main customers, Disney. This picture te technology, Disney, with this picture technology, Disney was able to develop their ways of animation. <coughs> they were able to be, um, to develop their animations with highlights and paint, more realistic painting in their shop, in their um, films. While Disney uh, was taking advantage of their technology, the co-founder John Lasseter created a short film called, um, called Luxor, Luxor Jr. In this film, uh, is where the famous death lab come from. And after the big success of their first uh, short film, the desktop lab lamp became their mascot for the company. I'm pretty sure that you have seen it in, at the beginning of every Pixar movie. Um, following the short film, Disney asked Pixar to create more CGI films, CGI means computer graphic images. Uh, at the beginning, Pixar produced movies for Disney like Toy Story in 1995, The Bugs Life in 1998, and Toy Story 2 in 1999. This movie were a total success for the company. Who does not remember trying to spy on ants to see if they were uh, moving their houses or playing around or something like that? Um, they also created Monster Sync and The Incredibles. And, yeah, The Incredibles. Pixar has made movies. Pixar has, has made, has many movies that mark my life forever. Until now, have been big success. According to Pixar Animation, in, 19, in 2006, Disney decided to purchase the company for $7.5 billion. However, Pixar remained a separate company with their own name and location in California. After Disney's purchase, Dracatoo was their first work being, uh, non, was their first um, work independently being nominated for the Academy Award. Award. Ratatouille is a movie about a little rat that becomes chef by controlling a person's hair. This story showed me how, to, how you can be everything that you want by working hard. And even though you are small or short or you are big or weird, <laughs> you can become everything that you want. Other success of picture was Wally which also was nominated for the Academy, uh, for the <laughs> Academy uh, Award and won the best animated features. This little guy became famous for his romanticism with Eva and loyalty. Many other movies like Brave, The Ending of the Trilogy, Toy Story 3, and Cars 2 gave being a big part of my life. Who does not remember Brian watching the Up, the Up movie? and cheering every brave act of the little body dog. Uh, concluding, Pixar grew from the beginning and from being part of Lucasfilms and become the great company there is now. Most of us grow up with their amazing stories since they became Pixar. For example, um, Monster Scene, Finding Nemo, and Cars. Uh, which made made us feel like everything could be possible. Even now that we are starting being uh, adults, we still not get excited when a uh, new movie of Pixar is gonna come out. Uh, because of all, because of the movie so with our success, I am going to keep track for the upcoming film, which one of those is going to be released this following Thanksgiving. Um, the the next movie is named The Good Dinosaur. Also, I'm looking forward for the future films like Finding Dory, The Incredibles 2, 
and Toy Story 4. Yeah, Toy Story 4. Um, and finally, as Buzz Lightyear will say, let's go to the utility and be jump. Thank you so much. I don't see Grace, so she's not here. So I'll just give you my comments. Um, I like the story from your childhood at the beginning as an attention device. Uh, the financial success of the company gives us a little bit of a justification for listening to the material. You had a good transition to what your topic was, a very solid preview of what the supporting material was going to be. In the body of the speech, I'm not sure that you quite keep it as organized as it sounds like it's going to be at the beginning of the speech. Um, early on, there's a lot of historical data, and I heard source citations on that. After that, I didn't hear much sourcing on some of the material that you presented, and so you want to be consistent on those sorts of things. On the visual materials, I thought that you had some interesting things that will keep us involved. Occasionally, the slides aren't quite synced up with what you're talking about, and for the most part, they are for interest or recall. They're not adding a huge amount of um, information to the presentation so they serve a purpose but uh, it's not elaborating on the material it's mostly kind of structuring and keeping us involved in that um, I think your transitions might be a little bit clearer with a little bit more practice and I know that you're working in a language that is not your first language and so sometimes that creates a little bit of a barrier as well uh, but I did think that uh, one of the things that happened where'd you go you're over there, you're over there somewhere <laughs> I, I did think one of the things that would, would help a little bit more is when you're more practiced and you know the material so much better and you're just talking to us instead of kind of going through that mechanical reading sort of thing. I, I can still hear enthusiasm in your voice, but you're not connecting with the audience. And that's something, like I said, that we'll work on more next time. All right, thank you.